I thank uh, profusely uh, Mr. Deshpande, Mrs. Deshpande, of course Raman, and you all. I was reminded of <laughs> this experiment is something like egg or drone. <laughs> <laughs> Dronacharya was the first uh, uh, appointed teacher, I am told, uh, if you go back into ancient uh, Indian traditions of teaching and learning in the Guru Sishya Parampara. King uh, appointed him as the teacher and then he was supposed to teach to the all those. This is some kind of echo drone happening in a place like Bangalore. I am happy that uh, you are all math enthusiasts. Yesterday I was listening to Manjul Bhargavara's talk. He was same thing. He was telling these people that India should send some great uh, uh, brains, uh, not that uh, only we should hear from the West. West and all those things. So it's a very happy note and a happy note we are here, myself and uh, my teacher colleague and uh, my mentor. In some sense, uh, my well wisher too. So I was reminded of my good old days. Oh yeah, I thought that uh, when uh, he called me, I should speak something on this occasion. I was just going through a very interesting problems. We always keep dabbling on those problems, myself and Raman, whenever he calls me, whenever I call him, we keep discussing few things. This also interested me. Uh, not much is required here, but uh, a little bit of uh, maturity, mathematical maturity is enough to understand the the beauty of this problem, this idea, okay, that, uh, and that's how even Eridish was trying to <laughs> inspire all youngsters only. He was never looking at people, he used to spend most of the time with students, throw problems and then award uh, prizes for the problems and I'm told that even today, uh, he has left a lot of money in the form of endowments for, to be given as prizes for the people who solve those problems with his uh, uh, advocate uh, who keeps uh, his, his uh, something that's what I was telling. Yeah. See, Ramsey numbers. I ran into this. Ramsey numbers is all about Ramsey theory. See, numbers make theory. Just a while ago, he started with root 2, then he came up with all sorts of uh, analysis behind root 2. How do, you, how do you look at root 2? So, so these numbers uh, are very interesting. So, uh, uh, the research uh, says that uh, uh, even modern mathematicians uh, of late who took interest in Ramsey theory uh, quote uh, Walter Walden. <laughs> that is very uh, inspiring. So, Walter Walden. Nineteen twenty-seven. So. <coughs> A meta uh, state of uh, statement of Ramsey theory is uh, what it says is uh, complete disorder is not possible. A complete disorder is impossible uh, in the sense in a large system, uh, however complicated, there is always a smaller subsystem which uh, exhibits some sort of nice structure. Even right on the road. Yeah, code is very simple. You cannot uh, complete uh, uh, disorder is impossible. So there is some silver lining. So you are left with that. So uh, Van der Waarden will use a very interesting term. One is Van der Waarden theorem. Theorem. What is this theorem? Uh, suppose you choose two natural numbers. Okay. Choose two natural numbers and choose a natural number smallest. Okay. And then Partition the first n natural numbers. Partition the first n natural numbers. You choose smallest n. 
again another natural number okay you arbitrarily choose r and p okay and of these two smallest <laughs> no 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 this is some n partition this natural numbers into r classes so you will have to look at this thing into r classes into r classes then there will be at least one class okay which is in a arithmetic progression consisting of p numbers in this r classes then there is at least one uh, uh, class um, which is in ap okay which is in arithmetic progression right consisting of p numbers in other words he is trying to generalize some arithmetic structure of uh, this natural numbers see for example these are natural numbers god given right they themselves are in arithmetic progression okay arbitrarily you choose some and then you partition them then look at that is quite natural that uh, you you partition them into some classes okay this is quite natural then you get some arithmetic progression anyway you partition yeah so this is disorderliness you pick r and p wherever you want to pick in whatever way you want to pick you pick them so you want to destroy this i don't want any systematic structure to coming up from this but still you get it the thing so this is one one theorem um so and then in the, these people quote this sir and that's how i think uh, see it, it, there are so many uh, interesting things about this uh, you must have noticed uh, when you say that the primes are in infinitude and then you try to uh, prove them and then uh, th and then uh, when you look at riemann hypothesis which is an unsolved problem in number theory they also try to try to understand uh, the distribution of primes primes in arithmetic progression could be one such uh, uh, interesting fall out of uh, ramsey theory the probabilistic number theory came up from this kind of uh, uh, from disorder to some order that in a very nice way this what uh, and then i think ramsey friend ramsey in 1930 so this is this was graph theory so he was he, he was considering a decision problem it seems they also call it some if you have studied some graph theory then they call it friendship problem okay what this theorem says is uh, this is a proposition proposition is so if you have among any six uh, uh people okay there are three okay and any two of them either there are three, any two of them our friends are there are three three such that no two of them them are friends
Okay. So what does it mean? <coughs> so if I have six people, okay, but this is they, they, see in graph theoretic sense, the graph theoretic argument, argument, if you have a graph, a simple graph with six vertices, okay, then you can have uh, three vertices that make a triangle okay and so uh, each uh, if you have v1 v2 v3 they make a triangle mean that's how the friendship is uh, seen in this sense okay and then uh, the remaining three they are disconnected so this is unfriendliness and this will give you friendship means what for sufficiently large n okay for sufficiently for sufficiently large n this is true it's quite possible it's not a big deal you know you can always find three people together and then three people so if it is sufficiently large, that's all. So <coughs> I want them all of them to be what is complete disorderliness here. All of them should be either they should be friends or the other extreme. Okay, they have to be foes. So I can I can destroy that, right? I can completely do that. Okay. For small cases, it's it's not a it's not an issue. Okay, if I take each and every one as a, a distinct individual, so a trivial situation is everybody can be friend by himself, that's not a big thing, okay. And therefore, that's, that's not an interesting thing. But the thing is, this is something dichotomically gives you... I don't some, see this is a mathematically true statement. And this, no, this, this is not a sociological statement. Don't take it in that sense. So, it is a, a graph theoretic statement. The graph theoretic statement is this. Okay. Uh, don't take it as a sociological, don't go to a social uh, Facebook and then look at six people and then <laughs> say that this is not the thing. This is Google generation kind of example they say. You, you transformed it in that part. Yeah, yeah. No, that's what we, Ramsey first saw this as a decision problem. Because I, okay. can, I can always get six people where this yeah. is not that's right. That's right. You'll have to make a deliberate attempt. That's what Ramon I said. In a formal, however complicated you wish, even to fail you, they may make friendship before they land. The politicians do that, you know. What they call it is a strange bedmates. Just to keep some fellow at bay, not to form a government, the first can become friends. That is not mathematical. <laughs> All right. Okay. You can prove this. Proof is not a big thing. Probability is negative. For sufficiently large health, probability has a positive uh, uh, probability measure. Okay. Now, <coughs> Uh, you are fam somebody are familiar with graph theory kind of thing? Little bit of yeah, basics? I, 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 okay. Now, <coughs> what uh, Ramsey theory says is, uh, uh, yeah. <coughs> no. 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 <coughs> 
Pardon? I'll give you that answer quickly now. Okay. Why did he chose six? And why did you look at three and three? That's also a very interesting question. Okay, you take three and three and then divide them into two. And so this friendly friendship and uh, fourness is colors. So they give colors. Okay. In in graph theory, they, they call it as coloring the graph. Okay. So they they do edge coloring. Some some they define some functions. Edge coloring, vertex coloring. And set coloring, they define. Okay, so if you have a graph G, the whole idea in graph theory is uh, it, it it goes with these two sets. One is vertex set, the other one is uh, edge set. So your edge coloring is you you color the edges of the graph. You can choose some R colors and you can color them. Okay, and now. <coughs> The, uh, the goal is, the objective is, goal is monochromatic color. They want it to be monochromatic. Well, if I have a graph and uh, if, uh, the, if the graph is sufficiently large enough, okay, and by chance if this graph happens to be a very nice graph, if I can color all the edges with one single color, fantastic. I have G, I have colored this one with one color. Can color means what? Pardon? You can color means what? Color means it's a mapping. Mapping? I I I would I will say that. So if this is my graph, something like this. So what I do is if adjacency is also defined, adjacent is also defined in this graph. Say something of this sort. Okay. Coloring I mean I want to give some kind of a function from edge set to edge yeah, set to this. Sir. So if this is my edge one, this is my edge two, this is my edge three. So if I can go from here to here, and if I can do this, I mean the same color. Kind of a thing. Or this. And then I can come here. This is coloring. If I cannot do that, then it could be, I, I, I can differently color. Four color problem. Optimization, it could be an optimization problem. Okay. And then they want to identify the subgraphs. Coloring is just identify subgraph. They were only looking at complete graphs. See, this theory, Ramsey theory, a lot of research took place only on such KNs. So, this is a maximally corrected? No, it, it is a click. They, they call it as complete subgraphs or subgraphs of some size. They fix some size at say T, that they call it as a click. They look for this click. If they have the same color. Otherwise, they, they call it as an independent set. Means it may have other color. Independent set. So, they look at this. And then they look at this, uh, this n actually should give rise to a Ramsey number. The, the, the number of vertices of the graph that you consider will become Ramsey number provided if it satisfies those conditions. That's what he says. So you take these things down. So in K6, you said 3, 3, right? So the friendship gives you a subgraph, a complete subgraph on three vertices. Okay, the size is C, that is 3. The other one independent set is 3. 
So, your K33 Ramsey number for this is the least number, the least is 6. There is no equal to 6. That's how you can look at those things. You will have to partition the graph into two and then you color them. The color choice is they, they generally do with two, two colors. Okay? And then they go by L choose K. They form K subsets. Here what I did 6, 3 two subsets of size 3 Okay, and then color them three, choose two. So that partitioning is possible at least if it has partitioning you fix k. Okay? You partition them into whatever sizes you want. You want to partition six into two, 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 you do that. You, want, you can do that, right? Do that. Then two choose two. Means what? Only one color. You want my point? But now there are there are two groups here. Eh? Warring groups are there. Eh? One color means everybody is fine. Eh? Right? But it's not enough. So, yeah, we want to achieve some extremality. Yeah. So could you no. explain how you got two two again? Which one? What is it? Two two. Which one? You? No, no, if you, if, you, if you partition 6 into 2, 2, 2. How many ways you can partition 6? Oh, so many partitions are there, no? So you do that, okay? And these people are only interested in the monochromatic uh, subgraphs uh, having the same color uh, with uh, this kind of uh, uh, what? Uh, um, uh, property. property, yeah, property. And. Uh, <coughs> Yeah. Now, <coughs> did you get this point? Okay. So, what uh, Ramsey says is, what Ramsey says is this. So, I will say Ramsey's theorem. For any large enough graph, simple, okay, undirected, simple, connected, um, there is, you can take it for a, KN only, okay, oh, okay KN only. I am interested in the KN first thing. Okay, okay. <laughs> there is, there is an independent there is an independent set of size yes or t <coughs> independent set of size s or t t a click of size p So in this K6, size t, size t, and the smallest number doing this, the smallest number of vertices required to accomplish, to achieve this, this is called an Ramsey number. Denoted by R S T. And therefore the 3-3. Three, three. See, you only look at S and T. You can generalize this. If you have, generalization is if you have, say, H1, etc., HK, K, finite graphs okay and then 
one can look at say s1 x sk with this kind of a thing at least there should be some subgraph some click for some i s i having that monochromatic color now coming back to your disorderness the hmm. st things are giving disorderly structure exactly click gives you the there is a hope for you because that's an open problem in graph theory, I'm told. A click problem is an open problem in graph theory. NP hard. NP hard. Yeah. So. I will give you. Pardon? Huh? No, 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 the point is, I will, uh, I will not go into more of these things. So, you, you can have RK, S1, etc. This is, this is how you can uh, generalize them. You fix K, then you will have so many. Then, they generally do this. They fix the two colors and then look for a clip and then an independent set. Then that's how a, they give a bound, a bound for the Ramsey number. And they're usually very hard to get, that's what he says. First probabilistic uh, estimate was given by Paul Erdish. He gives a very interesting uh, estimate. What he says is, if you have, if n choose k, 2 raised to 1, k choose 2 is less than 1, okay, then rk st, sorry, r2, okay, kk, what is that? I'll have to check now. What does it say? This is a lower bound. This is this is the lower bound. Okay. What does it say? If you if you have a graph on n vertices, okay, with the coloring scheme, okay. And then you cannot have a, a click of size n. That's what it says. And then uh, uh, the research is also very limited. The results that they were found, they, uh, I, I can give you a reference. What uh, the research says is, uh, R K M sorry K K three K three K M okay is less than or equal to okay what is that some some results are there in this yeah some results are there but is this 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 problem is wide open. Some results are there. Mm. Yeah, R K three K M. Um, yeah, you have. See, estimates for R3 are known for M less than or equal to 9. For M less than or equal to 9, 
it is known. See, for the m is equals to 3, we have this R K3 K3. K3 K3, I'm saying it's a regular graph. K3 K3. Means up to 9 only. Because the problem is open for m is equal to 10 onwards. We don't know. We don't know. And then, yeah, there are some more. This some more are K4, K4. So estimates are there. But so he writes R, I write R. So R K4, K4 is there. R K4, K4 is there. Uh, R K4, K5 is there. K4, K5, here again it is K5, okay? And then, I, I need to think this now. See, uh, you have finished with 9C to how many combinations are there? Which one? We are looking at partitioning these numbers from 1 to 9. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. Then they have this K3, K3, K3. So K3, K3, K3 are there. So this ramp, in general, that's what. I was trying to look at this. In general, if you have these things, then we'll have to find the least uh, uh, such a uh, I. That's one thing. Yeah. So some of the references that I have is. Uh, um, uh, this is AMS notices. AMS notices. 2015 March. March. You look at the uh, Paul Erdos. Uh, works centenary <coughs> this is a very in alone one can have this uh, recent uh, recent ones uh, will give you a lot of uh, things. <coughs> now, what interests here is with that remark, I will conclude. Uh, one minute, one minute. Okay, what interested me? Is a, there is a very interesting last term is not true. See, this is a this is this is actually independent set kind of a thing. This doesn't fall under uh, your uh, uh, click problem. So if you have x m plus y m is equals to z m over z modulo p, say some prime. Okay? This is done. So using Ramsey theory, he proves 
this, this, yeah, it's there. Which one? Yeah, yeah. I mean, we have to go because format uh, for it's not for greater than twenty-three. Greater than twenty-three only. Yum. Yeah. Yum. Yeah, greater than two. 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 Greater than two. Strictly greater than two. Greater than two. Higher exponents. Usual higher exponents. For four, it was proved by Ramanujan also. Zero, <laughs> see, is a ring with no zero divisors. That was a problem for Kumar also. Unique factorization. <coughs> yes. Yeah, let's clap the speaker. Thank you. Please go to Elon. Uh, you will get lot many things on that. Open problems on uh, Ramsey theory. I am interested in developing Ramsey theory on Grassmannians. These Grassmannians are uh, k-dimensional uh, subspaces or vector spaces. So, exactly. So, on behalf of uh, Vista Foundation, I profusely thank Professor Bustu and Professor Venkatesh for their excellent lectures.